Hello, welcome back to PAL, PO, even, for the second of our two races of, from the Formula 1 Festival. Formula R Festival, I'll get it right eventually. Um, the second of the two races. Yeah, first race was good, wasn't it? Very good for Oli K. Lights, lights the flag uh, lead and win. The cloud cover has come in since then, though. Uh, a little more overcast. Yeah. Another 25 minute race. Last time we managed, I believe, 19 laps. Yeah, that's, that's what we're looking so at. Probably looking for something similar. And the cars, as you can see, just. Uh... Yeah, looking for a dry race. Indeed, we are here in the French Pyrenees. Uh, rain is not unknown, um, and the clouds have come in since the earlier race. The car's just out there on some warm-up laps, just to gauge the tyres in the cooler temperatures of the afternoon. The crowd hasn't been in show, has they? Yeah. No. Very, very stable crowd. Very, very still. Can take the racing seriously here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So starting grid. The first eight position reversed from the, from the first race. That puts Smithy on pole. Very unlucky for Dan Thorne finishing ninth there. Yes. The real bogey spot. No points, no pole. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, car should be uh, coming around and lining up on the grid very soon. That marshal has stood in a very dangerous place. He stood on the side of the barrier. We know how tight the pit entry is there. He could either easily be clobbered by a flying car as he comes over that speed hump there. Great camera angle, this one. Very nice. Didn't see this in the first race. No. This is a new angle. The director's um, been maybe busy fixing new cameras, I think. Yeah, some more invisible ones. Because I didn't see it when we had the other shot. I couldn't see the camera from here, but you know. Maybe no, they've been, invisible they've cameraman as well. Been busy in between races, haven't they? Yeah. Well, we've had a couple of support races in between. We have the mini challenges racing here. Still waiting Luckily. for one driver to make the grid, I think. That's Kovamalia. Yes. Not having a good weekend of it. No, definitely not. Thank right you. Thank you. Yes. Oh. Yeah. A great view here, be able to see the lights come on there. Or not. And they're off. Apparently. Or not. But they, are but off. they are off. Lights are still off. Oh, Panning. shot here from across Panning the canal. Across the Oh, oh, is dear, that? That is oh, by Junior oh into the back oh of my. Uh, Jay Coops there. That's disastrous for Jay Coops. So he's right to the back of the grid. That's not going to do. Here. Not going to do his championship chances any good. Is it? Maybe ninth wasn't such a bogey position after Blue all. Blue flags for the leader there. Very strange. Maybe they're just not used to him being there. That's P.Y. James in the Blair yes. One car, the yellow nose, with a CLM Chased sponsorship. Down. Chased down by Smithy and AJOK in the Black Cats team. Yeah, a pack of Black Cats, if you will, even though there's only two. Using all the curb through Foch. Duo, a duo of cats, is that... Oh, is Smithy going to... Yes, oh. Smithy's made it through Ooh. at Poussin. What There's an no overtake. Making up for his uh, loss of position and points in the first race. He's now in the lead and already gained quite a gap over P.Y. James. I will be hoping that P.Y. James acts as a, the cork in the bottle and enable him to get a big enough lead. That's AJ OK there in third, in the second of the Black Cats cars. The, um, the front three have really left the, um, the rest of the pack behind after that first corner incident. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Got into. 
here they are. The rest of the pack led by Bukoi. Around the outside of Bukoi into Oscar. Oh, that's, oh, that's a very brave overtake. Nice. He's made it stick though. Oh, brilliant. Fantastic pass. Jay Coops has recovered well. Already into sixth place. It looks very like impressive. Has dropped back from a great start, so we don't know what happened there. If you could guess at what happened, uh, what what do you think happened? Well, there's some there's some fragments going into Oscar, so I think he might have been hit up the back by someone. Ah, uh, that is a real shame. He's uh, he's yet to score a point, of course, in the uh, in the championship so far. Yeah, which is surprising. He was tipped as a contender for podiums before the season, but it's not quite worked out that way for him. No, his best his best result for it so far ninth in the uh, in the last race here this morning actually. Oh, PYJ oh, straight on, Thank straight you. on at the first corner. He did that in the last race, didn't he? He seems to have definitely kept his front wing this time, but it's uh, it's really bunched up the guys behind him. Unfortunately, Blue Boy. Keeps. Losing another place to the the J3 cars. Oh dear! That's J Coops again. That's very unlike J Coops. After a, after an incredible first race here, where he hounded Ollie all the way to the flag, he's he's dropped to the back twice now. That is a real shame. One of the anonymous cars in the barry there. Didn't quite catch the number. Speaking of the last race winner, uh, Ollie K, there he is in the, the light blue car at the back of this pack. Which I believe is eighth place. Possibly lining up a move on uh, Blair into the first corner. A bit too far away this time, but let's see if we can get a good exit up the hill into Oscar. There we go. His patience has paid off, and Blair has got a poor exit there, and he's got a good run into Oscar. Oh, he's done it. Before Left some Michelin. Corner, lovely. Very nice. Blair leaving some Michelin rubber on the uh, on the arm car on the way out of the first corner there. Didn't help his cause any. so far, I mean we're only five minutes in, but he's holding sixth place, I think. Staring at the back of the Bai Junior Kobutsu car, as I say that, oh, he's Bai Junior goes nice. wide. I he's think actually, that... I think he's a back marker. Yes. Is here. I it, have I got my Kabutsu cars mixed up? I think there? it is might that... have been Lin, 1876. Not the year of his birth. Well, at least I hope not. <laughs> back with the leaders now. Spoke to Smith A after the um, first race and um, he said to me that he's going to be much more cautious into um, Oscar after that first race. <laughs> he that he that he is a bit more cautious everywhere, but then so uh, yeah, being cautious pays off around here. But he's not he's not getting away from AJ. Okay, that gap he built up mostly before AJ got past BY James. But he's steadied it, and now we'll be looking to close in. Yeah, I think it's around three seconds at the moment. It's been steady for the last two laps or so. Look through the field now. 
back here with uh, Bukoy. Ooh, oh, nearly losing the, the rear of his car under braking for uh, Busson there. That's a tricky car. The, the back end likes to step out at that corner. You've got to, you've got to manage your brake balance well to try Only and taking that. A, probably taking a much shallower line there through the chicane and uh, paid off because he's not trying to steady his car after landing. He's come to the inside. Oh, he's out breaking he's, himself. Uh, in the wall. What a waste. What a waste. Oh well, at least he's got going again. He's still got all of his uh, car's appendages attached. Holly K now sets his sights on... Is that by Junior there? Indeed, yes. Need to get my spotter's oh, guide out, really. Oh, oh no! Dear. That was 64, Lynn. That was... That was Lynn. Lapping that was again. Carbon copy of the first race. Uh, Ollie K had a scary moment with some back markers through that corner there. Oh, oh! <laughs> Director hadn't got a clue which car he'd like to focus on at the moment. <laughs> if only he had buttons so that could be pressed to easily get to each car, but uh, unfortunately he doesn't. He has to go go through the cars <laughs> one by one. <laughs> he needs to upgrade his equipment cameras, there. And but very poor. Yeah, you can see where the money's been invested, can't you? <laughs> well, you can't see it, but... Mmm, the irony. Right, so here we are, back with the, the leaders. The top four now, the two Black Cats cars of Smithy and AGOK, followed by Flavory in the Javery car, and Ollie K now up to fourth. from his uh, starting position of 8th. Managed to avoid all of the spins and crashes in the first few laps here. No back markers sideways around this corner on this lap, no. Behind him in 5th, this is Blairy in the Blair One car. Blairy actually having won a race earlier on the season, the first race at uh, Zandvoort, but not had quite so much luck here at Poe. No, he's been quite disappointing. He was one of my tips for the season, but. Let yes, me down. he. Uh, he was stellar in pre-season testing. Had some, put some very good laps in. Battle here between uh, Don Matteo and one of the yeah, enormous yeah, cars. It could be Christie. Oh. Is this not Dan? Right there, Dan. Oh dear, a bit too oh close. My. Oh my! Oh, both of them. Bump drafting is advisable on on this track. One of the cars uh, seemed to spear up up the grass banking there. Dangerous. Although that's allowed Jay Coops there to catch up, re recovering from his second incident of the afternoon. No blue flags, obviously, because uh, this is for position. What is he doing? He's let very, him through. Very curious there from Don Matteo. He's, he's let through a, a fight for position and now he's stuffed it into the barriers oh. at, uh, at Oscar. Perhaps he's got a problem with his car. I think he's got a problem with his driver. I think he's got a problem with both now. His front wing seems to have disappeared midway round uh, Lycee Corner. Just evaporated there into the uh, into the, the French afternoon air. 
Oh, lovely view here. What a bad the, way to uh, go. Nose cone. I mean, it's, it's been a lovely day for us. I mean, I've I've even got a bit of a suntan. I don't know about you. No, I'm not allowed but. outside. No, I had a, I had a SPF uh, 50 on. I, my skin can't can't handle it. Well, back to the action then. Indeed. Coming up and to halfway it. through the race. This is the leader Smithy uh, approaching Domitao to lap him. Domitao correctly getting out of the way this time. Gradually learning his uh, racing rules and flags. Who's that next up the road? That looks like a Kawatsu car. This corner. He's done it again. Made it. Scrapes his invisible camera on the, uh, on the inside armco there. You know, if you see the armco has some slight gaps in between the uh, panels, I think they're there to accommodate the invisible cameras. Yeah, they're just at the right uh, level, aren't they? Now, is that by design or by accident? Because those uh, those armco barriers have been around a lot longer than these invisible cameras have. Well, do we know that? <laughs> How do we know that, indeed? Well, when, when, when do we think the first use of these invisible cameras was? Maybe in, was it 67 for Grand Prix Legends? Uh, I think you're right there, Alex. Of course, they were, still using, they were still using hay bales at that point, so... And I don't remember those having any any gaps. Anyway, this is Ollie K chasing Flavory Rod. For the last podium position, I believe. Oh dear. Right, just got a bit too keen on power there. That was a spin. Left his mark there on the track with those black lines. Now what? Drop in the ten black seconds cats or so. Leaving their mark on the race, running one two still. Very steady up front with those two. We'll see if any team orders come into play as well. With uh, Smithy definitely in the title hunt, even after his his uh, distressing first race here. I use the term distressing very lightly. K composed. Speaking to the driver earlier this week um, about his new sponsorship Cornetto, um, turns out that he doesn't actually get access to free Cornettos. Oh, Is he that's not? Disappointing. He should have negotiated his contract better there. That's a, that's a major oversight. Well, I was going to swing by the motorhome and try and bag a couple, but I'm not going to bother now. Maybe he needs some uh, needs some lessons from Kimi Räikkönen in there with regards to his ice cream sponsorship. Well, Oli K could have perhaps had a, a full shot of the championship had he made the first round at Brands Hatch. Do we know why he was absent from his home Grand Prix? I assume he was hammering out the Cornetto contract at the final points. Yes, of course, could have been a money issue. Yeah, I mean, sponsorship has been an issue for a number of drivers in this championship because the Formula BMW is, is an expensive car to run, costing only £2.49 to get the car. Yeah, I mean, that's quite a stretch for most of the drivers. Indeed, I mean, that's just the licensing cost. You've got the cost of the... Uh, you know, anywhere between three hundred and one uh, thousand pounds for the rig on which to run it, but uh, it was assumed that the drivers already had that in place before signing up. Yes. Of 
I know uh, I know Smithy looking into a, uh, a new a new rig for uh, the second season of uh, of action. All right, so I think that's the uh, rumor in the paddock. Yes, yeah, so I've heard that too, Alex. Exploring his options at the moment. Still, though, his uh, his his current setup not uh, not hindering him in any way. He's been no. leading most of this race. Although second and third are closing in, I wouldn't say at a rate of knots because uh, we're not on the sea, we're on the <laughs> land, so a rate of miles. <laughs> Visible there from the rear-facing invisible camera on, on his uh, on his right side pod there. Ooh, a little wild. Yeah, I, can, I think you can feel the pressure. Out. Yeah, shaping up for a tenth finish here at Poe. That sounded like you were uh, leading into an advert break then, but of course we have no <laughs> advert breaks. <laughs> Welcome back to Poe, where you join us for the... <laughs> for the what, Dan? Well, you'll just have to work that out for yourself. <laughs> for, for the thing that you left us from uh, not uh, 20 <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> Ollie K here getting very close to AJK on the Avenue Leonce run up to Oscar. Slight lock up then. Was he going to go down the inside at Lycee? He, he oh has my done. Word. Oh, that's a bold move. Oh. oh, brilliant racing from the pair of them there. Ollie K uh, getting a little nudge from the inside curve there, unsettling the car and compromising his, his exit and acceleration. Some serious understeer there from AJ OK though. His, his front tyre is now 19 minutes old. I'm sure they were manufactured way before 19 minutes ago, but their actual uh, racing life 19 minutes old now. Bunny hopping over the final chicane curves there. All of this helping Smithy. He's um, he's gained a few tenths maybe over the uh, over the pair from the previous lap. Ollie K very close again into Oscar, is he? He's oh. unlocked himself. Oh, he's done a smithy. <laughs> he has. Oh, and Honest. his punishment is front wing's been taken from him. That's and that's allowed, that's... that's allowed Flavory yeah. through while he was trying to find first gear. That surely leaves the battle for the lead to be decided between Smithy and AJ OK now. I'd even say Without third place was probably really safe was safe for um Flavory now that mm. Ollie's completely lost everything forward of his front axle. Disaster for the race one winner, but a fortune elsewhere. Is Smithy surely only two or three laps left now? Nice and careful through the first corner there. Can easily catch you out on on exit, as we've seen from even some of the front runners this weekend. Things could be getting tasty. Is Smithy coming up some back markers by the look of things? We got that's one of the uh, one of the anonymous cars. I believe that's Christy. Christy certainly not had the best of weekends. Uh, retired from the first race, having been beached on the curbing on the inside of Park Beaumont. Doing okay now, though, but just outside the points in ninth place. 
not too shabby. Well, he's being caught rapidly by Dan Thorne, who's going for his first point of the championship. What kind of lap times is Dan Thorne putting in? Uh, well, it looks things. He's a couple of seconds a lap quicker. Be coming up to Don Matteo here. Number eighty-five, a, uh, a a long time, really rubbish racer now. One win to his name, I believe. In, in the in the uh, inaugural Merry Crashmas uh, event. Although that's that's not going to help many. Blue flags being used there. Nice to see. Nice they've uh, remembered. Gap between these first two pretty steady at the moment as they uh, they pass the Kaibatsu car. Who's that? Oh, that's Dan Thorne. It is! Nightmare for the, for the two Black Cats drivers. They're, uh, they're having back markers thrown at them left, right and centre, but they're, they're knocking them right back, aren't they? Good composure from the two drivers. Arguably one of the strongest pairings. They've been around since day one, both very, very experienced. Indeed, AJOK uh, due to start his 300th race in the next race. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh! Oh! Is that, that's Christy. Oh, that's and he's, no. the, he's blocked oh. the entire track. Oh, this is a disaster for second that. place AJOK. Third place flavory. Oh, he's made it through, but that, that was awful for everyone involved. I do hope no I'm one's taken hurt. Away any chance for a win for AJ He's living there beached. And he's got going again. I don't think anyone's near enough anyone's gonna finish this race with a front wing. If he is, made it through all the carnage, took the lead on lap one and hasn't looked back. The finish about 15 seconds clear. This is going to close the championship right up, isn't it? I think you're right. Using my skills maths calculations from the first race, I think we're going to have a three-way tie at the top going into the final event. It's also that uh, Smithy's second race of the season so far that puts him as the, the only driver to have won more than one race that puts him with 82 wins overall quite incredible that's a phenomenal number that's almost too high to count <clears throat> it's certainly really the limits of my knowledge <laughs> Oli K there bringing the car home fourth. Bukoy in fifth. Another solid result from him. Two fifth places. Larry done a lot of the race without a front wing, I believe. But he's managed to hold off Jay Coops. Certainly has. Bl Blair One uh, setting up their cars very well for no front downforce. Yeah, it's obviously taking some tips off P.Y. James. Race results here, the two Black Cats cars first and second, Flavory Rug and Ollie K. Uh, third and fourth. And some more people, as you can see, with your eyes. Dan Thorn gets a point, it's first point, after that kerfuffle on the last lap. And there we have confirmation of your suspicions. Oh, nice maths, Dan. That's maths. Top three all on 37. That's going to be very interesting heading into the final weekend at Anderstorp. 
Yes, where we know the weather is always a factor. Indeed. Jovi Racing, though, way ahead out. Strong uh, teams. Yeah, I think they've got this one wrapped up, don't you? Well, anything can happen. And the weather and the storm, ooh, you know what that's like. <laughs>